Well, hi, I'm Michelle Fowler, and I am an astrophysicist. I actually study the universe for a living. I work for NASA at the Goddard Space Flight Center, which is fairly close to Washington, D.C., and my specialty has always been studying the, the life cycles of stars, how stars are born, live, and die. So when you think about what the day-to-day -day is like for an astronomer, the, the wonderful thing about it is that it's never really the same twice. And I really like that. NASA right now has about 108 active science missions all producing data, and all of that needs to come out. The wonderful thing about working for NASA is you are working with everybody around you who thinks this is the best thing that they could ever do. And that has sustained me and ma made it exciting to go into work pretty much every day for the last 25 years. I actually was one of these strange people that wanted to be an astronomer as soon as I knew what a job was. I was just fascinated by the stars. That instinct I had for loving these little lights in the sky, they turned out to be spectacular. They turned out to be the, the most giant fires in the universe. The drama and the whole story of where the universe comes from is all wrapped up there up in the sky. I think this is really a wonderful time to start learning and to start owning your own curiosity. One of the most wonderful things you can have in your life is a job or a career that really matches a passion, something you're so curious about, you can't get it out of your head. But if you always have that little core that it's something that you love, that's a wonderful gift to have in life. So start paying attention to just the things you can't stop thinking about. That's really important. One of the things I really love about this book are the illustrations, because the universe is colorful. There are planets, there are galaxies, there are giant glowing clouds of gas out there. And I didn't want this to be just writing on a page. I want you to be able to see how beautiful the universe is. So when you're reading this chapter, what I want everybody on the planet to know is just how connected we are and how much we really are each other's brothers and sisters everywhere. We all come from this beautiful story of the universe. As far as we know, the universe began close to 14 billion years ago, and we have sort of unraveled the story of how all the stars formed, how the planets formed. We now know of more than 4,000 planets going around other stars in the sky, and that's changing all the time. And everything that you see out there is part of your story. When I was growing up and I would look up a science book, you know, you'd say, uh, how big is the sun, for example? And you'd find a book that would tell you the answer. So you had a question and an answer. And I think because of that, a lot of people got the misperception that science is about memorizing lots and lots of facts. I mean, I've been an astronomer for more than 25 years. So yes, I know a lot of facts about the planets and the stars and everything, but that's not what my job or my passion is about. It's about the questions. Science is always about the next question, the next thing you don't know. So, I mean, even close to us, and then as far distant as the, the most distant galaxies out there, there's so many more questions. And that's the real point of science. So I love the fact that the book you're reading isn't just about science being facts. It points out all of the things we don't know, all of the things that we need to learn. And then maybe you, 50 years later, will be writing the answers to those questions, but then you'll have new ones. And that is science.